Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Friday, August 28, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. What you're going to see here is the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by 11.5 points. It looks like a little digestion from the gains that we've had the last two days. I don't really see anything damaging out, on the, out in the market. In fact, China was up big last night. Japan was up big last night. So um, Europe and the U.S. market seem to just be digesting the recent gains that they've made over the last two days. So again, I don't see anything terrible out here, but um, it could make for some good, interesting trading at least early this morning. Now, this is a Friday in the month of August, which historically is a very, very light volume period. However, we have seen firework volume recently. Volume has been on, uh, absolutely insane. So um, we'll see what today brings. You never know if we do get another Friday sell-off. But right now, I'm really not seeing that in the cards. So we'll see how today plays out. But let's take a look at some stocks in the news. First one I'm going to start off with today is Smith & Wesson, SWHC. This is a gun maker. Um, stock right now closed at 1621 yesterday, trading at 17 and a quarter. Um, I don't really see any problems here. This is a very, very good move. If you own this trail, your stop loss, it is getting a little bit overbought, um, but that's about it. It can trade higher. I would think that this wants to go to the 1750 level. So if you own this, trail your stop, we should see this trade up at least till 1750. It may stall out a little bit around that level. Now, in sympathy to Smith & Wesson, watch RGR, which is Strum Ruger. Uh, right now, the stock is not moving or reacting on the news, but generally these two stocks trade in tandem. So watch RGR. That could catch a little bit of a bid today. That will be on my radar very early this morning. Let's take a look next up at Ulta Salon. ULTA is the ticker symbol here. Uh, the stock closed at 160 and a quarter. It is now trading at 160.80. So it did get a big pop initially, has come back in. I don't have any levels on this right off the bat. It is a little bit of a thinner name meaning rarely does it trade a million shares a day. But keep this one on the radar. Um, but right now, it's not really doing much. In fact, it is starting to sell off a bit. So we're going to watch this one once the opening bell rings. I am seeing a little bit of support around the 158.50 level. That might hold temporarily. That would be a gap fill from yesterday. All right, let's take a look at SPLK, which is Splunk. And um, what you're going to see here is stock is trading right now at 66.70. Close at 64 and a quarter. Um, good little move. It's got to get above this $68 level on a closing basis. Until then, um, this could be an area where the stock really stalls out. So be a little bit careful here. I am seeing max upside in this name to around $72.66. But like I said, it's got to trade above $68 on an hourly chart close before it can move higher. So be careful there. But it could make for interesting trading this morning. And once again, if you want to come trade alongside of us, come take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. We've had a stellar, stellar week. We're going to look to keep that going into the closing bell today. Next up, I want to talk about Z, uh, Zoe's Kitchen. Z-O-E-S is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at uh, $33.99, closed at $35.74. The only level I like for this would be around $31.75. So be careful here. If this starts to trade back down, $31.75 is a level I like. I also like... Um, $30.90. So there goes two levels there for Zoe's Kitchen. But again, this is a new issue. It's hard to find levels on this. This stock just debuted um, basically in April of 2014. So we don't have that much back data to work off of. Let's take a look at GME, which is GameStop. Stock is trading at 4502 It was up sharply yesterday after the earnings announcement. Now trading back down to 4502 Closed at 4620 in regular trading session yesterday. Watch the 4390 level for this. 4390 will be some good support um, if it comes down there. If that fails, then we're going to have to look a lot lower. Um, but we'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. Freeport McMoran is flying high today. Looks like uh, Carl Icahn got involved in the equity. It had a big pop yesterday. And that was the news. Traded up to 1019 on the close. Now trading at 1170 after the Icon announcement. Um, this one could have some more upside if it can squeeze, but right now it is stalling out right around the $12 level. So keep this one on the radar. We'll be watching this intraday for setups potentially. If we get any bullish setups, we can probably jump on board, but that is one that we will be watching. Let's take a look at ATVI, which is Activision. 
What you're going to see here is stock is trading at 29.50, closed at 27.93. Good pop here. Stock does have a little bit more upside in the cards, potentially right around $30. I don't see it getting much above 30. Uh, looks like the company got added to the S&P 500. So that is going to happen. I'm not sure the date of it. I think it's September 2nd, but either way. Um, Activision getting added to the S&P 500. Here's another one that is being added to the S&P 500, United Airlines. Good pop here. Stock closed at $53.36. Now trading at $56.84. Um, did trade briefly to $58. I'm going to try to have some gap levels for United, though. This is a big mover. This stock can really move fast and furious, so uh, could be a little bit on the risky side, but either way, I do see some good resistance points up here, but Activision and United Airlines, United Continental, I should say, um, both getting added to the S&P 500 this morning. All right, let's take a look next up at Autodesk, ADSK. Uh, you're going to see this stock is trading at $48, closed at 50 bucks. It did sell off. If it comes down further, I have gap levels for Autodesk. So I'd like to see a sell off in this name just because I think we could pick it up cheaper. But uh, we'll see where it opens up and how it plays out. I think that's pretty much everything on my list today. Uh, gold futures are trading up three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, you do have uh, oil trading down sixty-five cents. So again, crude oil back below forty-two dollars right now at forty-one dollars and ninety-four cents a barrel. So with that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. Come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. If you're not a day trader, check out our research center. We give all of our nightly trade setups. We also give our videos in there. Uh, you'll also get our No Hype Live broadcasts. Um, it's it's really a, it's just a sensational product. Come over and give that a shot. We offer a seven-day free trial to that as well. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day. We'll see you on the charts.